Hey everybody, this is Meyer, and in this video, what we're gonna be doing is creating this sub pad that's gonna sit under the main lead. As a demo, it's a really simple sound. This is what it sounds like. And I'll add the lead in so you can hear that too. Let's go ahead and get started making it. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and duplicate this channel and give it the name. And the first thing we gotta do is just make sure we work out the MIDI. So we only want these, these bottom notes here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete all this stuff up top here. And then these guys and these guys. And one of the things you can do here in live is just select all the first notes and just kind of stretch them because this is just gonna be playing that lower section. So I'm just kind of gonna do this and then just take this and duplicate it over, boom. So this is going to be the sub pad and I'm gonna make this a kind of like a purple color like so. And you can also, oops. Oops. And basically what I'll do is just take the preset and initialize it. And let me just duplicate this again so I have another init preset that's ready for the future. Boom, that should be initialized to which it is. Okay, so to do the sub pad right now, it's, uh, this is gonna sit underneath the lead. And this is always good for breakdown sections or sections where you don't have a lot of stuff playing, where you need some more of that low energy. The first thing we hear, it's very bright. We're gonna wanna lower the filter down and we are gonna wanna take this down an octave. So I'm gonna bump this down an octave. I'm gonna turn this off by double clicking cause we don't, um, I'm not gonna be using this, at least not right now, to adjust the sound and just lower the cutoff so it's not so bright. So let's just listen to this sound right now by itself. Next thing I'm gonna do is add a couple voices. We're gonna start with three, and I'm gonna add a little bit of wide as well. Don't want it to be too wide because this tends to be a lower sound, so you don't want it to be too wide towards the bottom where your subs are, where your, where your low end is. I generally try to keep some of that mixed in mono. That's sounding good. I'm gonna add oscillator two, and I may change this to be a square wave. So this is control A, it just morphs between the wave shape. Let's see what this sounds like. Sounding good, and the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take oscillator three, bump it down two octaves and mix in the sine wave. So this will just be an extra kind of harm support harmonic there. I actually don't think we need this, so I'm gonna turn it off. The next thing I'm gonna do is on the shaper, I am gonna add a little bit of drive to just warm this sound up a little bit. We'll turn on the EQ and I may just shelf some of the high end down just a hair. So let's hear it with the lead, that's sounding pretty good.
sounding good. Um, I'll just go ahead and save it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. This one's pretty simple. All right. See you guys in the next video.